spring breakers are having to make all kind mm. of adjustments if they're going to the beach with the high rip currents out there and that's from the Gulf Coast and for a lot of days coming up. Yeah, Fox 10 News Dacian Smith has been at Pensacola Beach checking on conditions for us there. Dacian, tell us what you're seeing. Okay, so the waves have really been in high gear all day and that's led to lower beach crowds. It's actually thinned out a lot over the last few hours, but those we spoke to earlier say they're still making the best out of their trip to the beach. It's a smaller crowd than usual for spring break at Pensacola Beach. But some visitors couldn't pass up coming down to check out the waves. They're beautiful, but dangerous. So, yeah. I mean, we just don't see this in Indiana, so it's kind of cool to watch. While the waves are a sight to see, vacationers like Kayla Washington say they didn't expect to see them this high. It's kind of scary seeing the beach like that this time of year because we come often and I'm around this time I'm used to seeing it like kind of calm. So it's kind of scary. With single red flags flying above the beach, swimming isn't allowed in the Gulf waters, which has some beachgoers changing their plans, especially the younger ones. I really wish I could swim because I really like to swim. I told them just get their feet wet, don't go like anywhere past the ankles. While others are choosing to stay out of the water completely. It's too dangerous. Even just, to, even just to get out a little bit, it's too dangerous yeah. to get pulled okay. under and that'd be it. But that isn't stopping beachgoers from making the most out of their trip. Just look for shells and just enjoy the beach because we don't have this at home. I told my kids they're going to have a sandcastle, sandcastle competition. So it is other ways that you could enjoy the beach without actually getting the water. With the high rip current risk expected to continue tomorrow, everyone has one piece of advice for those heading to the beach. Please stay out of the water because it can get dangerous. Even if it goes up to your knees, you're not thinking that it's dangerous, but it really is because the rip current can pull you. Definitely some great advice there. Again, with single red flags flying out at Pensacola Beach, swimming is not allowed, surfing is, but again, you do want to be careful and be mindful of that flag warning system if you're heading out here over the next few days. Live in Pensacola Beach, Station Smith, Fox 10 News.